हेलो एंड वेलकम टू माई चैनल फार्मेसी इन डेप्थ फिर वील टॉक अबाउट फार्मेसी रिलेटेड टॉपिक्स इन डिटेल टूडे वी विल स्टडी अबाउट डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ रिसेप्टर प्रेजेंट इन ए सेल टू सेल्स कम्युनिकेट विद ईच अदर विद हेल्प ऑफ ए रिसेप्टर फर्स्ट सेल सेंड्स अ सिग्नलिंग मॉलिक्यूल विच इज कॉल्ड अ लाइगन विच इज रिसीव्ड बाय द अदर सेल दिस लीड्स टू सम डाउन स्ट्रीम इवेंट्स विच इज कॉल्ड ट्रांजेक्शन एंड फाइनली अ रिस्पॉन्स इज प्रोड्यूस्ड विद इन द सेल A receptor is protein in nature and acts as a specific binding site for the ligand. Ligands are endogenous molecules which selectively attaches the receptor and activates them producing maximum response. For different receptors there are different types of ligands like for muscarinic and nicotinic receptors acetylcholine is the ligand for adrenergic receptors noradrenaline for histamine receptors histamine for dopamine receptors dopamine for 5ht receptors 5ht which is serotonin and for gaba receptor gaba is the ligand there are two terms associated with a ligand affinity which is the ability of the ligand to bind to the receptor and intrinsic activity which is the ability of ligand to activate the receptor and produce a pharmacological response based on these terms there are agonists which have affinity as well as intrinsic activity so when these molecules bind to the receptors they produce a pharmacological response and there are antagonists which have affinity but no intrinsic activity so when these molecules bind to the receptor it does not produces any response so for ligand acetylcholine carbocol and bethanicol are agonists and atropine is the antagonist for noradrenaline dobutamine is agonist and propranolol is the antagonist and for histamine 2 methylhistamine is agonist and diphenylhydramine is antagonist so there are four types of receptors present in a cell ligand gated ion channel receptor g protein coupled receptor enzyme linked receptor and nuclear receptors out of which the first three receptors which are present on the cell membrane are called transcellular receptors and the fourth one which is the nuclear receptor is called the intracellular receptor first type of receptors ligand gated ion channel receptors these receptors help in transport of ions across the cell membrane ions like sodium ions calcium ions and potassium ions sodium and calcium ions are present extracellularly while potassium ions are present intracellularly so when a ligand binds the receptor it opens the receptor and the ion channel which helps in transport of ions intra and extracellularly movement of calcium and sodium ions intracellularly leads to excitation while movement of potassium ions extracellularly leads to inhibition these receptors are located at different places in our body and movement of ions either stimulates or inhibits these organs which is listed in this table for example these receptors are present at the muscle end plate and when acetylcholine which is the ligand which binds to the receptor it opens the ion channel and leads to movement of ions intra and extracellularly second is the g protein coupled receptor it consists of a receptor part which is helical in shape which is coupled with g protein which has three subunits alpha beta and gamma and these subunits are associated to gdp so when a ligand binds to this receptor it leads to phosphorylation of alpha subunit and gdp converts to gtp as a result this g protein dissociates in two subunits and alpha subunit acts as a secondary messenger This combines with an effector protein and produces the pharmacological response. This receptor is also present at many locations in our body and when acetylcholine which acts as a ligand binds to this receptor it gives various pharmacological actions which are given in this table. Similarly when noradrenaline binds to this receptor it also gives various pharmacological actions as given in this table. Next are enzyme linked receptors these receptors themselves have a catalytic activity or they are linked to an enzyme so when a ligand binds to this receptor 
it leads to auto phosphorylation of the receptor which gives the pharmacological activity as happens in case of tyrosine kinase receptor fourth receptors are the nuclear receptors these receptors are present inside the nucleus of a cell so a ligand crosses the cell membrane and then the nuclear membrane it binds to the receptor and performs gene expression to form and synthesize specific mrna strands these mrna strands undergo translation and synthesize specific proteins which are transported to the cytoplasm and gives a pharmacological response so guys this was all about different types of receptors present in a cell thanks for watching the video i really hope you like it and if you did like it share it and subscribe to my channel